A woman arrested facing some serious charges after she called 911 claiming to have been kidnapped. Lauren Hensley's been working this story, and she's live tonight with the latest. Lauren? Marty, it all began here in Cambria County when Kelly Miller dialed 911 and said she was kidnapped. Now, hours later in Altoona, they found out Miller was safe, and in fact, she made the entire thing up. Why'd you do it? Do what? Uh, get out of my face. A slurring Kelly Miller is hauled off in handcuffs after Cambria County Dispatch said she called 911, claiming to be kidnapped. Let's take a listen to that call. 911, what's the address of your emergency? Oh, 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 yes, I'm calling because I'm driving with a, um, a male in a white Impala. He um, kidnapped me and um, he has my money order. Um, it's a white Impala corridor. Um. The calls didn't end there. Police say Miller began calling the Altoona Police Department with a similar story. The calls led them to this home on 6th Avenue in Altoona. When they responded, she was still intoxicated. Uh, we believe she was heavily intoxicated at the time that she called our dispatch center. However, that's not an excuse to uh, abuse the system. Precious time and resources were devoted to make sure Miller was safe. Police departments in three different counties were involved in the investigation. Dispatchers say any call that comes into 911 is taken seriously. You know, even though you're listening to a voice that may or may not sound to be under the influence, that doesn't mean that there's not a real emergency happening to that individual at the time. So, you know, we, we take that into consideration, but we're treating this as if it is a real call reporting a real problem. Every single call that comes through these lines are taken very seriously. But as Miller found out, if these calls are a hoax, you will face some serious charges. And getting to those serious charges, Miller is facing criminal use of communication, and she is also facing several other charges, including false alarms reported to a public service agency. Reporting live in Cambria County, Lauren Hensley, 6 News.